I don't think I had any idea what it meant to start a company. And one of the virtues of the SWC is no one told me it was a dumb idea. They just were encouraging. And, and right now there's no looking back. When the SWC was established, there was no mandate for doing translational research. Amazingly, there have been important developments that have resulted in really practical applications. I'm Andy Murray. I'm a co-founder of Sanya Therapeutics. Sanya Therapeutics develops uh, treatments for prevalent disorders of the nervous system. The way we do that is by targeting neural circuits and altering their activity, taking what we were doing at the SWC and trying to translate that into a sort of therapeutic context. The culture at the SWC is quite uh, open, transparent. There's so many expertise there in the building and that's really helped me develop skills beyond just being a scientist that I've been able to transfer to, to building Sanya. It really gave me the confidence to work out the kind of scientist I wanted to be, but also the kind of leader that I wanted to be. At the WC, uh, one of the important things is that uh, uh, we share knowledge, equipment, share uh, development of new tools, for example, neuropixel development uh, that now many, many people use around the world. Uh, and we see smart cages as continuation of uh, this development uh, where we provide tools and the techniques for the community. The big ambition for our company is to transform uh, the behavioral research so that it's fully automated, it's naturalistic, so that it can be distributed in many, many centers with the data comparable across these centers. My name is Gonzalo Lopes and I'm the director of Neurogears. Most of our projects are developing next generation tools and platforms for neuroscience research. Our core mission is to make scientific knowledge and experimentation available to everyone. The most important thing at SWC for me is the freedom to explore new ideas, uh, new projects, uh, and also the support of researchers at the SWC it gave me the confidence to get started. Uh, you don't feel you have to do it all alone. Being in an environment with a lot of exciting, interesting things happening, but also without any constraints about where you go from there, really is what led me here. It turns out I really do enjoy teaching, but I can only be in so many places at once. And so we started working on online videos of taking the style of teaching, which is very hands-on, you build stuff, but we also send you the stuff itself. You can actually be making it directly in, in front of you. And for me, this gets over a lot of the challenges of online learning. The freedom that SWC affords has been critically important for me. It's allowed me to collaborate with scientists and help build a new biotech company called Lario Therapeutics. This company is focused on severe childhood epilepsies and syndromes that cause uh, quite severe intellectual disabilities. And we are developing precision targeted therapies, small molecules that target the genetic causes of some of these syndromes that we hope will provide relief for these, uh, these kids. The next stage for Sanya Therapeutics is to really build out our therapeutic pipelines. The ultimate goal is to really treat millions and millions of patients across the world and reimagine the way that we build medicines and therapies and really make a transformative impact in society. We hope to do for science uh, what the computer and the internet did for tech development. By making these accessible tools, we hope to bring more people into science as participants rather than just consumers. I think we will do what some other researchers 10 years ago did for genomics, proteomics, and etc. Enable people to do the same amount of work in a day rather than in a month or a year. I think it will completely transform how experimental testing is done in animals. I hope that some of the discoveries at SWC will, will be transformative. We are seeing for the first time advanced aspects of brain function and that naturally lends itself to translationally beneficial outcomes like new therapies, like methods for teaching or learning, new scientific equipment that can lead to even better science in the future.